Hello friends, and welcome to a little bit of Hello Neighbor with me, Janky Shenanigans. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, Janky, didn't you already play Hello Neighbor? It's true, I did. But it has occurred to me recently that, you know, I, I play a lot of games on the channel, particularly in Demo Day, and I don't always get back around to them, which is a shame because some of these games are great. For example, I have an alpha key to Hello Neighbor, and they always, they're, they're constantly updating it on Steam, and I get all the new updates, and I'm like, why would I not take advantage of that and make more awesome videos of it for my channel? So, this is part of a new thing that I'll be doing Wednesdays, whenever I don't have shared shenanigans or other series to put up. Um, I'm going to revisit some games that I have that I haven't played for a while, but I wanted to get back around to. So without further ado, let's get into some Hello Neighbor. Oh my goodness, so much good stuff. First of all, they add this awesome tutorial, so it's not just like you doing whatever and not remembering the controls or anything, like in the pre-alpha, which is nice. So, oh, yeah, so one of the cool new features is you can turn electricity on and off now, which I've used to my advantage quite a few times. Um, and then you can pick up stuff, which you could do before, and then left, left. Good. Oh, thank goodness. It sounds ridiculous, but for the past, like, ten times I've played this game, I always ch chuck my key. <laughs> I always just chuck my key, wherever, whenever, whenever we get together. I don't know. Stack of my boxes, real nice, sweet. Yeah, so they've they've made a lot of changes to this game since the pre-alpha. A lot of nice stuff. Let me get my binoculars, cause I'm a creep. And uh, grab that, bring those in. But yeah, they've added a lot of new mechanics. Um, a lot of new puzzles to the neighbor's house, which is really fun. Actually, gosh, I really haven't gotten a hang of that yet. They had a new mechanic. It used to be to throw things. You had to, I believe it was hold the left mouse button and then click the right mouse button. Now it's just you click and hold the right mouse button to throw things. And then if you just like tap it, you can set things down. But it's, it's... A very difficult difference to, to discern between tapping and holding. So, that's fun. Um, anyway, other things going on. Not much. I will say, I was playing this game... Oh my god, let me tell you guys. I was playing this game during the charity streaming event for Extra Life recently. And I almost beat it. I almost got through the door. Um, but it was mostly because the neighbor had glitched into one room, so I, it was kind of like saving me. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, uh, well. Anyway, let's, let's take it out. What? Mysterious cutscene! I remember the first time I watched that cutscene, I was just like, whenever the door first opened, I was just like, oh, that door must be glitched because it looks like there's a street behind it. And then you hear the noise of a car wreck and, and the tire comes flying out. I'm like, oh no, that was supposed to be what it was. Apparently he's like a murder wizard now with a magic portal door. And a tram that runs through his house. Seriously. Seriously. No one else in the neighborhood's questioning this. Who even knows? Oh, there he goes. Okay. 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 Ooh. Light came on that room. 
Need to know if he's in there or not. Ouch. Get down. I'm sorry. I have a terrible habit of dropping out of frame because I like hunch down over everything whenever I'm like super intent. Okay, he should be going to investigate his boiler. I'm not sure where he is in his house, because he should be going to investigate his boiler. And if that's the case... Okay. Sweet. Okay. I don't think he's up here. Dummy. Nope, he totally is up here. He's definitely up here. Okay, but if he's upstairs, I can try to take this time to undo this. Get this ready. Okay. Oh, that was very loud. Since he's upstairs, I want him to come downstairs. So I'm gonna shut off his power. I literally have no idea where this man is in his house. I mean, just based generally on the noise, I have to imagine that he's upstairs somewhere glitching the crap out. But that also means if I avoid the room that he's glitching in... So let's just, let's just assume for the time being that he's, like, glitching in a room somewhere. Far away from the room I'm currently in. Alright, yeah. Let's just go on that assumption. And hopefully that doesn't steer me wrong. Nope. I need that. Pick that back up. Alright. So, sweet. Let's, yeah. Let's go with that assumption that he's glitching in a room somewhere. So, if the teacher can just stand there, watch over the imaginary students. Okay. Also, it's really creepy. BT dubs, if you um, if you do not have the teacher there, paper airplanes and, and balls will get thrown at you. And you're just like, what? Who's throwing those? The room is empty. I don't know, but someone is. 
Alright, sweet. So that gives me the gun. Ah. Give me that. Alright. So... So fasten that. Right. I turned off the power. God, I hope that isn't the reason he's still upstairs. Because the power's off. Because I'm going to get screwed in a minute if that's the case. button. There they are. The little army dudes. Oh there. Sweet. Hopefully he's not in this room. Wait, where's the jackhammer? I picked that up. Unless I left it somewhere. Oh, there. Okay, sorry. You need the jackhammer later. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm providing very good commentary. I'm just so focused on getting through this, because I might actually do it this time. Which is wildly exciting to me. That I might actually get through this. And figure out what's on the other side. Alright. So, we go in here. This is a horrifying children's room. Just absolutely the worst thing ever. There's a happy family over here, but then a lot of really dark pictures that look like people getting murdered. Which I suspect is exactly what they are. Just people getting horrifyingly murdered. So then, I think the bear burns, I think, is that not how it's done? Let's put him back in there, I mean, okay, so you're supposed to burn the bear. This is the only way I can think. Unless there's some other way? I'm not above finding help. Where is the bear? Can you get the bear to burn? Is that not the way to do it? How do you get the key to open the door? How do you get the key? Hmm. Get the key. Hello, neighbor. Because I followed the puzzles. I followed the puzzles. I have found no key. What do you do? I'm sorry. I apologize. No! Okay, so I figured out where the key was that I need to do what I need to do. It's just now it's going to be a hassle to get to it. It's going to be a super duper hassle to get where I need to go to get the thing that I need to get. Ah! Dang, Nabbit. Dang nabbit. Okay. I have literally replayed this entire game. Chuck that. 
because I have found out where the frickin' key is. <sighs> hmm. To get me my ending. Tell me I have that key. Better have that key. Took me literally everything to get this stupid freaking key. So help me if I even get caught right now. I'm going to scream and I'm going to write tiny build a very strong letter. Yes! Satisfaction! The game crashed. Well, at least it had like a jazzy number at the end of it. <sighs> oh well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you can totally hit that like button. Comments, positive or negative, you can leave them all below. I try to read and respond to them all. And more than anything... God, I'm sorry. I just can't get over that. That... <sighs> I knew it was probably going to be the neighbor, like catching us somehow but then it was just like him burying us and a slight acoustic melody and then the whole thing crashed but the important thing was made it to the end that's what's key finally got through that game so i hope you have a lovely day evening or whenever you happen to be watching thank you so much for watching and until the next time this is janky shenanigans signing out i'm going to have to cut so much of this out it's Oh my god, we'll get there. Oh, that's gonna be a whole rant unto itself. Oh look, a room full of explosives. Ah! But that got silly real fast. Fiddlesticks is the worst. That was my muffled scream noise, by the way. Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's the three gold. People here are weird. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.